What is good, my people? Is your boy Fala Junior back again with another episode of Become Profitable Podcast? If it's your first time on the channel, please make sure you hit that like button. You comment down below what you think about this video, the tips that you've learned from from the special guest that we have brought here to the today to give us a little bit of insight about his trading background, his trading life, and the obstacles that he he has encountered bro what's happening man no way shout out shout out man i i appreciate the invite for you respecting the invite to come to the podcast you've invited a lot of traders but yeah you you managed to come obviously man yeah to show up please introduce yourself also to the people i give you yo yo uh it's les boucher les by the fx kid um i don't know some know me as the sniper king yeah, I'm out here with follow to do the interviews, get to know me from yeah. the questions he'll be asking. <clears throat> so yeah, bro. Uh, in most cases, we don't know how you got introduced to forex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you get introduced into forex? What was live before forex? Um, I got into trading. I think by the time when I was in metric, you know. Yeah, yeah in metric. When, when, when? Which year was this? uh 2017 2017 yeah december mm. actually yeah. I, I knew about forex i think november yeah yeah because i remember i was discussing training with my former learners yeah, candidates yeah. or whatever yeah, yeah, they yeah, call yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and obviously i'm from Sushanguve, right yeah, yeah. so in Sushanguve, that's where jason is from oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. so when we were driving to school with the school bus, like I just saw a shining car, you know, yeah, the A45. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the A45. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mercedes Benz Pro. I was like, hey, what's uh, this? What's what, happening? What's this guy doing? Yeah, what's that the cool guy? Now? The cool guy. Yeah, then that's where I just got into trading. Yeah. Had to find a way to get myself into the financial markets of Forex, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what were the challenges that you had encountered when starting to trade? Um, honestly, it's the knowledge of the trading, knowledge. you know. Yeah, I think that's that's the most difficult part, knowing um, where to get the right information because yeah. you can get trading knowledge is everywhere. Like knowing what yeah. Forex is, it's everywhere. But some of that is not even really necessary for you to be profitable to, to yeah. become a pro- profitable trader so there's certain aspects that you need to know just yeah. only to get you profitable yeah. you, the other things are just like just they the fillers they just fillers bro okay yeah. you have an in- institution infinity okay. forex yeah, yeah what inspired you to start infinity forex um infinity forex it's a company that actually makes it easy for people who want to learn trading yeah yeah offering the right um study material yeah. offering the proper knowledge you know yeah, yeah. yeah and also mentorship so that's that is what actually inspired me to to change people's life through the knowledge you yeah, know? yeah yeah so what do you think separates infinity forex and other forex yeah. institutions um i think it's the type of knowledge that is offered you know yeah yeah because this this knowledge actually got me many many actually i think many years you know yeah yeah, crafting all the knowledge whatever is needed to become profitable you know yeah and you summarized it up for other people yeah i just managed to compile it into one thing okay day trader what strategies do you use to make profitable trades um as a day trader yeah um strategy i won't say that there's a name to the strategy now i don't like giving a strategy a fancy name. names yeah you know yeah. it's just obviously i incorporate the use of technical analysis and yeah. also the use of fundamental analysis yeah yeah, yeah. how do you d- decide between which pairs and staff to trade on a daily what makes you decide oh, which okay, ones you want okay, to trade yeah. today why not and stuff like that um obviously there's certain things that you need to know about the in- instrument that you're trading yeah so let's say we we're talking about <coughs> forex you know yeah yeah forex is uh, a currency pairs trading currency pairs so for me to know that i need to trade this certain currency i need to know 
um if if it's if it's liquid enough yes, you know yes, yes. yeah so one thing that you need to to look at i like to treat the the dollar yeah. any pet that is to, that is paid to the dollar yes yeah just like usd jpy gbp usd euro usd can you walk us through how when you uh analyze the things that you look for when analyzing to 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 make you profitable the uh, things that like for instance for example i would okay. start on the higher time frame and stuff like that can oh, you walk yeah, us yeah, stuff yeah. like that when you open no, your yeah, chart, that, what that, you do that's what i actually do and after doing that i need to actually spot how far are we how actually where are we at the market are we at the lows or at the highest yeah, then obviously yes. that's where i can take the decision that i'll be buying the certain instrument or i'll be selling so you know as traders there's about 90 percent of traders that are not profitable and only a few 10 percent yeah, yeah. are profitable so which risk management strategies do you employ um usually I risk about 10 percent to like 25 percent of the account you know yeah yeah uh, and usually with the risk reward ratio i i employ i can get um let's say it's 25 percent risk of the account obviously the profit that i'll be looking to make will be like maybe 100 percent or like 70 percent it will depend on the movement and whether i'll be holding you know there's a lot of aspects yeah that yeah that play the role so how do you handle and how do you recover from losses um actually you know when it comes to losses man you just yeah. have to play by the rules you know yeah don't do that type of thing of revenge trading once you have get some losses you're trying hard to 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 make sure that you recover all the losses yeah you just have to step back you now relax let the market play then wait for it to come at uh the levels maybe where you want to buy where you want to sell maybe get more confirmation and also it's important for 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 traders to look at the cnbc apps mm -hmm. back, you know and while well, in which aspect should they be looking at it on a daily basis monthly basis Stuff can, like that. it can be daily basis but some days there won't be any market moving news how do you engage with your followers and the support that you get from them how do you engage with them uh i don't like posting that much so usually i just put a post on my news feed the stories mm. yeah sometimes i just go live just to interact with them mm. yeah what's the most rewarding feedback you've had from someone rewarding what uh, uh feedback like your clients when the most reward one where you can say you've had a client that said i've done this and then yeah, yeah, it, yeah. for you it was a uh, rewarding feedback to you to show you that what you're actually doing is actually hey, greater there's, than a lot. there's a lot of people you know yeah you know ever since i've started teaching people how to treat yeah. you know there's people who told me that they've been building their uh, parents houses you yeah, know yeah. renovating yeah some um, are not interested on to renovating but just making their lives a lot more you know better. easy better yeah. they buy clothes whatever they want to do with their own money but yeah more they they profitable how do you maintain emotional discipline and manage stress while trading um emotional discipline i usually set my goals you know honestly yeah. what happens and when you don't hit those goals that's what I'm trying to also get deeper into. If I don't hit the goals, I'll just try to strategize maybe to 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 make sure that maybe if I had a monthly goal and yeah. I didn't hit the monthly goal, next yeah. month I have to make sure that I hit the monthly goal, you know. Yeah. I mean there'll be times where you won't be profitable, maybe in like a month. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it happens. What advice do you have for new traders on handling psychological pressures? of uh let me give you a, for example we are both trading but i'm not succeeding the, like the way you are what yeah. advice can you give people on such just take time you know take time to understand yourself as a trader yeah. and just know what is it that you like trading you know because it took me time to to actually realize that i like trading currency pairs 
uh, USD, Nasdaq, and mm. I, I, actually I can treat everything, mm. but mostly it's currencies that I'm comfortable with. So you just need to take your own time, just be patient, you know, regardless of 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 how hard is it. I, I get you. So what common mistakes do you see new traders make? And how thinking, can they avoid them? Thinking that trading is a get-rich-quick scheme. Yeah. How yeah. can they avoid it? Understanding what trading is and how do wealthy people get rich through trading and how do they even build their wealth? I mean, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a way of building wealth, not to, to get rich overnight. Put it. Like, for example, right now, we're having Forex beefs and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think from such things can we use to navigate traders into a way where you know how the industry is being portrayed? Yeah. How can they, what can we do as a trader? Just be transparent and show them that, yeah, trading is profitable yeah. and there's losses, you know. Yeah. And it's not only about the lifestyle, man. We do work and there's sometimes where we're stressing about losses, but then obviously... We have to make sure we recover them, you know. Yeah. yeah. So it's a it's a game of wins and losses, but you have to come up with a strategy whereby the lo- the the wins are more than the losses. Okay. Yeah. True or false? You have a lucky charm for trading. Like nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, True. man. Nah, 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 nah. False. Nah. Yeah. Okay. False. Do you prefer manual trading over automated trading, such as copy trades? Um, maybe actually, do maybe a, auto. um, it's a, it's a two way question, yeah. So, I can say I prefer this one, but yeah. I'm a manual trader yeah. and I do have a robot that just trades consistently every month, you know. And yeah. the only problem with the robots is that is that um they, they structured in a different way other other than manual trading you know manual trading you can just customize everything the losses that you want to use yeah, yeah but yeah i feel like automated trading is like the future of trading okay so now we're coming to this one what would you do in this scenario no? yeah you just lost 20 percent of your account what's what's the next step or 50 percent of your account what's the next step strategize and find a new trading plan on how to get back the account, grow it back and uh, get back to the drawdown, you know. Uh, a friend asks you for a trading tip, what do you say? A trading tip? Yeah, a friend asks you for a trading tip, what do you say? Hey, just get the knowledge, man. Forget the rest. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received from someone? Hey, yeah, this question, every time I ask, every time I ask about this question, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah, yeah. go blank. But what's the best piece of advice you've received from a person? Um, Actually, the advice that I've gotten it was from an institutional trader. He was like, stop using all these trend lines, you know. Mm. That's where I actually got into fundamentals. Yeah, but yeah. obviously trend lines are working for me. Mm. And for him, uh, some way they're not working. Okay. Yeah, actually, it's not only trend lines, technical analysis yeah. in a whole, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to institutional traders. Institu- it's I, I, just a stupid game. So apart from trading, what yeah. other hobbies do you indulge yourself in? Video and trading. drinking is not a sport. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do a lot of stuff, bro, but video gaming, man. Yeah. Call of Duty. That's how you spend your time and your profits. Nah, maybe when um, 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 I don't know what to do. Yeah. I've just finished trading or maybe I just added a few positions. I don't have like anything to do, man. I just log in, play Call of Duty. You know, get kills and all that. And then this is the last question for the interview. Yeah. How would you advise a beginner trader to manage their money? Money management, not risk management. Money management. Yes. They 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 they, they shouldn't forget that uh it, it, they they into trading as the long term, you know, in the long in the long run actually. Yeah, yeah. So whatever profit that they get they shouldn't ball, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah just take your time, make sure that you grow 
because bro trading is a way of making wealth you know so yeah. when you got the money you have the capital it's just like running a business yeah, yeah. you you just uh finished um maybe selling your your products yeah. the next thing you wanna go out and spend you j- you have to reinvest in a business yeah. you know because most traders you'll find them complaining about not having deposits yeah but when they make profit they spend the money without actually compounding their own money the deposit capital or whatever i really appreciate i really appreciate yeah. your time bro for coming out here right, shout out, chilling, shout with out. The, chilling with us and the team yeah. coming to the podcast and just being a good good trader to other people yeah, no, bro. No, i really no, appreciate no, it no man. my g so yeah guys um if you really enjoyed this interview please make sure you hit that like button you comment down below subscribe you subscribe make you sure go you check follow out you on make, insta make sure you follow him on insta make sure you also follow yeah. me on insta let's bar underscore the fx kid and let's keep on showing some love to each yeah. other traders up until the next episode of become profitable danko i will i will